Hey, hello and welcome to another update video about AVEX. AVEX is moving closer and closer towards the support area down here. And yesterday I said that it's quite likely that we might see an extension in the B wave, but it shows some short term bearishness already. Um, yeah, I mean, I mentioned to you if we get a sustained break below $50.50, .50, then I will call the B wave complete circle B. And then we will um, probably, well, with that move, we would confirm that we're coming down in circle wave C. I already gave you a target area for the circle wave C of wave two here in this wave two correction based on the assumption that circle wave B already topped here on the 25th of March at around $59.34 in our resistance area. So I highlighted to you that um, the ideal target range for this circle wave C to the downside is between $45.75 and $41.44. We are currently on our way into this target area, so it could very well be that this is um, currently the circle wave C that's unfolding right now. But I'd really like to see a sustained break below that $50.50 .50 level, which is the A wave low. Yep, we've had a break below, but only really a wick. The market hasn't sustained below it. That leaves the door open currently for a running flat or an expanded flat pattern in circle wave B. So I just don't want anybody to be surprised by it. So I leave that um, wave count on the chart, but note that the circle wave B might already be complete. What does that mean? That means if the price really gets into this support area, the very first line of support, because it's standard support is $46.92. The more specific target areas are between $41.44 and $45.75. That's the range between the 100% extension and the 138% extension. And the 50% retracement level is additional support. So I would like it to actually hold support somewhere in the upper, maybe the upper half or the upper third of this support area from where it could then tempt a start in a third wave rally. Um, but technically we have to give it the space all the way down to $32.76 in this wave count. So it's good to see that we are um, finally coming down. That always offers the opportunity for maybe some, yeah, for accumulation in the support zones, okay? A lot of people waited, waited for a pullback. We have been stuck now in a correction and without red candles, a correction cannot complete. Yeah, it will always drag sideways and never do anything. So it's good that we see a little bit of movement. Um, Nia was due a pullback. So maybe it's already the C wave down. Maybe it's only a wider flat structure, which would then afterwards result in wave C of two. That's not entirely clear at this stage, but I will definitely observe that for you. There are two other wave counts on the chart, but I think we should only focus here on um, those basically here, the, the orange scenario with the short-term bullish pathway, but I wouldn't even call it bullish. It's just one pathway leads to an extension of the B wave in a flat structure, basically just the rally into resistance before we come down. The other one takes the price down basically straight away. Um, only really below $32.76, I would need to unpack and focus on these other two wave counts in yellow and white, which allow for an even deeper pullback, but there's currently no evidence for that. So yeah, expectations are for this price in probably the coming days or weeks to come into this support area. The target area was specified. Once we see, or if we see a reaction there to the support area, it is expected for a third wave rally to start. And yeah, that's my update about AVEX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.